What the fuck are you doing? It's almost time! What? This Friday the best film of all time is being released at the cinema in 3D! Jurassic Park! <laughs> Woohoo! Or, uh... Okay, I need to get through this episode as quickly as possible as I have two films to review. And please excuse any noises because I've got two dogs, there are road workers outside and my neighbours like to talk very loudly. Because that's what they do. First is the news. Now unless you've been living under Vanessa Feltz for the past few weeks, you will have heard the big news coming out of Comic Con in San Diego. Zack Snyder's announcement about the follow-up to Man of Steel. Superman vs Batman. Or Batman vs Superman, I'm not really sure which way they're going with that. I'm super excited about this! Of course Christian Bale won't be involved. So this will most likely be another reboot for Batman, which is fine because the last two times were successful. When they did Batman, and Batman Begins. However, there is two things that seem off about this. One, they've announced that the release date is 2015, or if you want to be pedantic, 2015. That's only two years after Man of Steel. Traditionally, when a sequel is released two years after, it tends to be bad. And that information comes from no research whatsoever. But it does feel right. Just look at Batman and Robin and Iron Man 2. And second, it has been rumoured that Orlando Bloom is to play Batman. That would be the wrong choice. Don't get me wrong, he's a good actor, but I just can't see him as Batman. Whatever the outcome, it is paving the way for a Justice League film. You know, this team. And later on down the road, maybe my favourite DC character in his own film. The Flash. More reasons to be excited. Now, unless you've been living inside Opera Winfrey's knickers, you will have heard the announcement of the next Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi. You may ask who is he, but eagle-eyed viewers will have seen him on Doctor Who before in the episode Fires of Pompeii, and also in the third series of Torchwood. Despite all that, I think it's a good choice. We will see. Trailer time, and I feel especially excited about this one. This upcoming movie is about YouTube, made by YouTubers. And more so, I helped fund it. It's called Vlogumentary. You can click here to watch it. Directed by Corey Vidal, produced by Shay Carl, and the production crew was Apprentice A. I watch their vlogs every day. Down there I'm going to put a link to those vlogs should you want to see more. Like I say I watch them every day and I was proud to put some money towards this movie. Please go check it out. Finally, movie review. Times two. First is The Wolverine. Picking up a few years after X-Men The Last Stand, we find Logan all down and depressed. Which is not surprising because at that point in time he looks like Russell Brand. This doesn't last very long as he's whisked off to Japan where he finds himself fighting for his very life. And I'm fighting the sunlight because it keeps changing. Lots of plot twists. Action! What am I doing? And the usual Logan banter that the first Wolverine failed to deliver. This is very much the Wolverine film that fans have been waiting for. Don't walk away when the end credits start to roll as we get a taste of what's to come. I give the Wolverine a... and a doggy biscuit. My second review is for The World's End. The final film in the Cornetto trilogy following on from Shaun of the Dead and Hot Fuzz. Slow to start with and Simon Pegg's character seems to be someone you'd want to punch, but things soon do get underway. Especially after one of my favourite actresses, Rosamund Pike, shows up. And then not long after that, things start to get very weird. It does have the same flair as the previous films, but it takes a little bit longer to warm to the characters. But it's no less fun. Stick through the first 45 minutes and you won't be disappointed. I also give this a... And a pint of best. Percy, you've been quiet. <laughs> That's not like you. <laughs> That's more like it. Until the next time, peace out. So this will probably be... Blah, 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 blah. I can't say probably. Now, unless you've been hiding under Vanessa Feltz for the past few weeks, you will have heard all the news coming out of Comic Con at San Diego. I can't speak right. Mm. Now, unless you've been living inside Opera Winfrey's knickers, you will have heard the announcement of the next Doctor Who, Peter Capaldi. So, this will probably be... be, be I can't say probably. <laughs> but this doesn't last very long as he's whisked off to Japan, where he finds himself fighting for his very life. I'm cocking up again. Oh hey son, nice of you to join us and turn me into a light bulb. You don't see, when I'm talking sometimes I'm doing this, underneath the camera lens, so you can't see it, under the shot, to try and help me say the words, like this. Sometimes I need to do that. A little secret for you there. Directed by Corey Vidal and produced by Shea Carl, the production crew, This doesn't last very long as he's whisked off to Japan. The sun! Come on! Really? <laughs> <laughs> I 
and the usual Logan banter that the first Wolverine failed to do to deliver.